Ah, there was my lemonade. Welcome back to You Didn't Know Jack. Hey, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I'm counting the days until my retirement. 12,947 days. Halfway there. Halfway there. Jeez. Is you and me? That's how I like it. Um. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by Shrunken Head Superstore. We refuse to make a get a little head joke. No, well, I guess we just did. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game, and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. I mean, I suppose I remember this. All right, let's get this party started. But probably the question is going to ask to tell me otherwise. Here we go. Besides, I'll confess, it's been a while since I recorded you, know, Jack. Let's start with, here comes the Spelunk. So, I just finished decorating my man cave. It's got everything you need. A sweet stereo system, bears, everything. It's literally a cave located three and a half miles from my house in the woods. Oh. Which of these songs that I play loudly in my man cave best describes these stalagmites in it? Dancing on the Ceiling by Lionel Richie, Falling by Alicia Keys, On the Floor by Jennifer Lopez featuring Pitbull, or Outside the Wall by Pink Floyd? <laughs> I forgot which one it was. Now, stalagmite is a mineral deposit that rises from the floor of a cave created by dripping water. Stalactite is the other one I confused with. It's great. I can play music as loud as I want in my cave. Until about 11, then the bats start getting annoyed. <laughs> Here's one I like to call a trio of distinct musks. If the Three Musketeers bar were made out of the actual Three Musketeers, what would not be an ingredient? Lightly drizzled Athos, a light and fluffy D'Artagnan center, a creamy layer of Porthos, or a decadent outer layer of Aramis? Okay, one, I recognize this episode. Two, I don't recognize the answers, so I'm just gonna surely guess this one. That was quality. Yeah. Correct answer, show yourself. In the Alexander oh. Dumas novel, the three musketeers, Athos, Porthos, and Aramis, are the three musketeers who D'Artagnan meets and befriends. Personally, I prefer Alexander Dumas' other novel, The Count of Monte Twix O. Oh. I've never read Pat Twix, but I've heard, I've heard high praises for them, to be honest. And on its way, Stanky Statues. Because that arm is up all the time, which of the Statue of Liberty's pits could probably use a little extra deodorant? Her left pit, her right pit, both. The Statue of Liberty holds her torch aloft with her right arm. That was easy. So that smell is not entirely New Jersey. I'm pretty sure she'd use secret deodorant because, as you know, it's strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a giant copper woman. Hey <laughs> If I remember correctly, that building, the, the, the statue is supposed it's to be a gift? For all Mario Brothers go to heaven, and it's a sanctimonious disordat. Okay, I definitely wrecked this episode. I'm gonna read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a song by Marilyn Manson or a Christian video game. If oh. it's a Marilyn Manson song, press the left arrow. If it's a Christian video game, press the right arrow. All right, let's get started. There goes nothing. Spiritual warfare. <laughs> Lamb of God. <laughs> Last day on Earth. <laughs> Bible buffet. <laughs> Sunday fun day. <laughs> the fall of <laughs> super. <laughs> Last two are easy. You're the lame of God. <laughs> bad pun is bad. You know, Super Mario is a pretty religious game. Every time something bad happens, Mario is born again. <laughs> That's totally not how one of us work, but okay. Pucker up for... Welcome to Salzburg. If a bag of Czech mix is separated into two compartments, representing the two regions of the Czech Republic, what's in the bag? Slovakian breadsticks and Polish nuts, Serbian chips and Belarusian crackers, Ukrainian cereal and Hungarian bagel chips, or Bohemian pretzels and Moravian rye chips? No clue, I have to guess. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, nice fun. Let me show you something. The Czech Republic is made up of the regions of Bohemia and Moravia. 
zero clue on that one. Mm. This Chuck Mix is pretty good, but I can really go for some something sweet right now. Maybe some chocolate. Oh, look! Malta milk balls! But I'm Tish. By the way, Chex Mix is fantastic. That'll bring an end to our first round. And lucky for you, there's room for improvement. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And remember, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer to the game. Alright, you ready? Too oh bad. boy. <laughs> Are you ready? Too bad. Well, it wasn't too bad for that six. Coming up. Just bend it. Okay. Imagine soccer player David Beckham gained the ability to bend light. If a movie were made about it, what might it be called? Reflect it like Beckham, refract it like Beckham, diffuse. Refraction is when a wave such as light bends when traveling from one medium to another. So it would be called refract it like Beckham. Yes. Personally, I don't care what he does with light as long as it shines onto that gorgeous head of his. To be honest, I confuse that with reflect. Reflection technically is bending light, but refraction is the actual real term for it. Try this on for so that makes sense. What's my stink line? What? Hmm, the interns were supposed to deliver some trash, but I don't. Wait, why is that closet door comically bulging like it might burst? I forgot this uh, thing exists. We have a picture of a woman with Spider-Man, a bottle of red hair dye, and a book titled How to Sound Like You're from 1950s Mississippi. Who does this trash belong to? Emma Watson, Kirsten Dunst, Lindsay Lohan, or Emma Stone? Okay, I'll confess. Guess who has not watched Spider-Man? I kind of really know the person by face. I just don't know the person by actor. So it was nothing. Emma Stone plays Gwen Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man, is naturally a blonde who dyes her hair to her trademark color red, and played a young reporter in 1960s Mississippi in The Help. Whew. I don't know what it is about this trash. It's cute and sparkly, but I feel like I could get a beer with it and just hang out. How did I forget this episode was the debut of that question type? Huh. Up next, spinning the periodic turntables. Oh. What initials do rapper Clifford Harris and the atomic number 22 on the periodic table share? An L and an L, a J and a Z, an H and a G, or a T and an I? I feel I should know this! Clifford Harris is better known as the rapper T.I. And atomic number 22 is titanium. Titanium, chemical yeah. Chemical symbol T.I. I don't know why. I forgot my periodic table. Duck on it. There was a rapper named T.M.I. I had a sick flow in the bathroom due to a digestive disorder. T.M.I. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't know how I forgot a 22 to titanium. I know 20 is Take calcium at least. At you are what you think you're eating. Uh-oh. Which food slogan would not be an example of false advertising? Blood pudding. Find it in the dessert section. Head cheese is the cheesiest. Sweet bread like your baker makes it. Or camel milk. Goodness straight from the camel's teat. Um, I'm not sure the answer, but I want to take a gamble. One right answer. Got it! Blood pudding and head cheese are actually types of sausages, and sweet bread is the thymus gland of an animal. But camel milk is simply that. Milk. Actually, yeah, no, that was she would have crowd. So. And her ad campaign was "Got Camel Milk." No, seriously, <laughs> do you have it? Because it's hard to find. Kind of true. Next time, use your head. <laughs> Booyah! Better yet, use this shrunken head USB oh, stick geez. from the shrunken head superstore. Tiny heads, big savings. His wrong answer <laughs> the game comes with a bundle of cash worth $8,000. Congratulations. I had a inkling about this episode, but I completely forgot about all, most of it. Yikes. Also, no, I'm not going to use that flash drive. Say hello to flip service. 
Which organization could use the slogan, Give Us the Bird? The Jane Goodall Institute, the European Cetacean Society, the Sierra Club, or the National Audubon Society? Give us the bird? I see what that probably means actually giving the bird, which I have zero clue what any of these do. So you know what? Get out of here! <laughs> Seriously, get out of here. Well, what was it? No, no, I'll get this. The National Audubon Society is an environmental group focused on the conservation of birds. Ah, uh, there you go. Yeah, more birds would be great. My car still has a few areas not completely covered in poop. <laughs> so they really are we're talking about actual birds and not, you know, the one you flip. Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right, but you lose 2,000 if you're wrong, and of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. En espanol, por favor. What's the Spanish version of this name? Good luck. The Spanish version of each name? Oh, jeez. I have no clue on any of these. I will have to guess. I have to really go by syllables to try and help me out here. Crisscross! Uh, I don't think so. No. Domingo? There we go. Kind of going by syllables, honestly, so... Stephanie? I don't think so. <laughs> Steve! I see where they're going with this in terms of the throw-off answers. Taco! Ah! Well, actually, that's kind of cool. Paul. Nope, not Pedro. Speedy Gonzalez, I don't think so. Wow! I did not know that. Henry. Henry? Nope. Sorrow. Some of these are like just. You know what? Enrique. Henry. I popped that last minute. Richard. Ricardo, that makes sense. Jesus. Hmm, I wonder. Nope. I honestly thought that was because, you know, Chris, Chris, like Christ. There we go, there it is. It was just his regular name. There it is! Boo Sakalaka! Topic, I can hold a conversation in Spanish. So remember, Spanish speakers, we can chat as long as it's about the lyrics to a Ricky Martin song. You don't know Jack! The sad thing is I don't even know any Ricky Martin songs. Um, dang. For my first episode back after I think about one month plus not recording, I'm kind of surprised I did that well. I guess if for those who were wondering I was going to do badly again, well, you don't know Jack. Peace.